everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are doing an extra long polygel nail set on my sister. Also, don't mind my nails. They're a little fugly right now. I'm about to do them, okay? I'm about to do them. I'm gonna soak them off and do my own set. And I'll also record that for you guys. So I'll have another video coming soon. Anyways, the first thing I did was push back the cuticles and now I'm taking this needle bit and putting it into my e-file, going around the cuticles and lifting all that dead skin off the nail plate. Next, I am taking a 180 grit nail file and lightly scratching up the surface of the nail to remove the shine. Now I'm just taking my nail clippers and I'm cutting off the nail growth. And then I'm going in with my scissors and I'm going to cut off the excess cuticle. Now I'm just going to take these tips that I got from Amazon and I'm going to apply them to the nail using this KDS glue, which I also got from Amazon. Everything I use will be linked in the description because I care. I just fitted all the tips and made sure that, uh, well, they all fit. And I just put a little bit of glue onto the nail tip and stuck them on. And if the corners of the nails didn't get any glue, I just made sure to fill those in. So she wanted the nails double tipped because she wanted them um, really long. So what I'm doing for that is I'm just filing down the tip of the nail a little bit. And then I stuck the second nail tip on. And as you can see, like the glue didn't really get everywhere. So I just added some throughout the corners. So I took my tip cutter and matched it up with the other hand to make sure they were all the same length. Then I took my straight edge nail clipper and went around the sides to cut off any of that excess from the second tip that I glued on. And it pretty much made a nice shape. Now, the thumb doesn't have a tip on it because she didn't know if she wanted the tip on it because she didn't know if it would be too long or not, but you'll see eventually we put on the second tip. This nail set took I don't know, maybe like eight hours. If I'm being honest, don't use poly gel for anything. The only reason why I use poly gel is because the monomer smell of the acrylic is just too strong and it just fills up my entire house and my family doesn't like it. So I just had to stick to poly gel. It doesn't have any smells. It's just, it's not good for long tips like this. Not good for long nails like this. So I warn you, if you are in a situation where you don't, you can't use the monomer, find an odorless monomer, find it, find that shit, because you do not want to be stuck with poly gel doing long nails like this. It was kind of torture and you'll see, like, I kind of go crazy. Anyway, I'm just filing down the edges of the tips and making it this coffin shape. The nails were just so long, like I don't even know how to explain how I was filing. So she decided that she wanted the pinky nail and the thumbnail to be stiletto. She just really didn't know what she wanted. We just kind of went with it. Um, so here's us putting on the second tip to the thumb because it was not long enough to become a stiletto. So I glued on the second tip. Now that my tips are all shaped, I'm going in with my nail prep and primer. I got these on Amazon. Basically everything I use in this video is from Amazon because I just don't like waiting 
like a week to buy it at the actual website. I just go on Amazon and wait like a few days and then get that. So I'm just painting on my dehydrator and my primer and I put two coats of the primer and then I'm going in with my McCart base gel. Just painting the whole nail. You don't really have to do the whole nail, but I just like to because I don't know why. I really don't. You really just have to paint the um, nail, the actual, the real nail. Now I am going in with my white McCart poly gel and my 91% isopropyl alcohol, which is basically the slip solution. So if you're working with poly gel, you do need a slip solution. Either your kit can come with that or you get just this alcohol. And I am just patting out the poly gel to fit the nail tip. I really don't want to do sh that much shaping afterwards, so I made sure that I really shaped that poly gel until it was crisp. Until it was crisp, and it took a while. It did. Each nail, I'm I'm telling you, don't use poly gel for long nails like this. Each each finger probably took like ten minutes. If I'm being honest, maybe more. Okay. You just want to make sure that the cuticle is really clean, make sure you don't get any poly gel around the cuticles. And I just cured each finger for about 30 seconds, but I did a final cure for 60 seconds because white poly gel is very opaque. And we had the issue that I didn't, I didn't make her cure it long enough, so some poly gel wasn't cured underneath and it was kind of like gushing out, whatever. You get it, just cure this poly gel. For a long time. Now when you're building an apex with poly gel it's kind of different than acrylic because acrylic you can just add more on top but if I added more poly gel on top of that what I already smoothed out it just wouldn't it just wouldn't work it would basically just become a bigger glob of poly gel not really an apex so i had to do more than one layer but on the three fingers in the middle that were coffin shape we are doing an encapsulated look so i had room to kind of make the nails thinner so it kind of it worked out but in the stiletto nails i did one layer cured and then added more poly gel on top to get that apex that i needed So here I'm just filing the stiletto pinky nail and I'm just trying to make that point pointy. Basically when you're shaping a stiletto you kind of like curve around the side of the nail instead of just filing straight you kind of curve around it to make that point if that makes sense. But you'll also see me switch files a lot. It's because I feel like the files aren't working. So I just feel like I have to go keep switching back and forth to different files, but just ignore that. The files I'm using, I got from my Sally's nail supply store. Uh, well, basically they didn't really work out well. They're not really that good. So in this clip, it's currently like the next day. That's why I don't have those ratchet nails on anymore. So I use this glitter, old English alphabet, and these gold charms. I'm just placing ABG on the three nails in the middle, which means Asian baby girl. That's what she wanted. So it took us so long to figure out the right like placements of these things, which is why like the A is like 
I took everything off of the A. We didn't like it. I restarted that finger. So finally, we did the sun, moon, star, and I just finally went with the flow and figured out like what was feeling right for these nails. Moving on to the glitter nails, I just painted on some top coat and then went in with the glitter and just sprinkled that on. Same thing with the thumb, painting on the top coat and pouring on the glitter. Cured that for 30 seconds and dusted off all the excess. She decided she wanted that same glitter all over these nails as well, so I'm just adding little um areas of top coat and then sprinkling on some glitter with the fan brush and i'm adding top coat to the glitter nails because she also wanted um old english on these I put a one and a nine on the thumbs because she's turning 19. I added a dollar sign to the pinkies, but she didn't like the heart, so I took that off. So now I'm encapsulating the gold charm nails. This is where it took so long because I did not want to file once again. I did not want to do a lot of shape work. So I just encapsulated um, the nails and smoothed it out. I made sure I wasn't making it too thick around the cuticles. So finally I'm taking off that tacky layer with some alcohol and reshaping now i'm going in with my e-file i have a sanding band a coarse sanding band and just smoothing out all those lumps Now, finally, we are putting on a top coat. And cured that for 30 seconds. Now I am going in with some cuticle oil. And here is the finished results. Thank you all so much for watching this video. This was my first video, so I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!